name was Bunny. I was in the six day race here in Randall's Island, New York, where it was 32 of us. I was tent number 31, he was tent number 32, so we became buddies. Uh, well, actually, not too much buddies because he never stopped. Never stopped. Another guy, oh. And uh, I didn't know who he was, but some of the runners knew who he was, but they never saw him because he was running in Europe all the time. And uh, there was questions about letting him into the race. <laughs> Actually, fair play to him. One of the best runners ever I was run against. I'd say the best, the best. But honestly, he didn't help running, long distance running in America, because he broke every record. Every record there is, he broke it. I mean, we thought we were good until he came. Then he just wiped us off the map. <laughs> I mean, there's no way you could match his records. No, no. It was just in his blood. It was in his blood to run fast, fast, and not stop. Yeah, he knew I was from Ireland. He's from Greece. Yeah. So we got on good. And he'd come over. And when he was finished, I was still going. He'd come over and say hello. He gave me acupuncture, actually. He put this guy in to give me acupuncture, stick needles in my legs. <laughs> I believed him. <laughs> yeah, he meant to help me. You know, he, he was good. It. Yeah, so we were running, especially uh, Meadow. I don't know what, 12 hour or 24 hour race, I forget. And he says, shield me. And I, <laughs> I didn't know what he meant by shield me. He said, shield me. He wanted to go to the bathroom. Wee oui, wee. Oui. The next thing he was going sideways, and I was going sideways with him. He didn't stop to go to the bathroom. He wanted the world record, and he got the world record. So he went to where, well, he picked a spot where there wasn't too many, well, there was nobody actually, but he still said, shield me. How could I forget that?